another one that we I, I think we picked this out, yes. <laughs> trying to find a different size, yes. Okay, so you, you like, yeah. how would you describe this prom dress that you picked out here? Well, I, I, I can sew, uh -huh. so I'm hoping I can uh, alter it to fit her better, because she's short, mm -hmm. <laughs> number one. And... Uh, it's just an easier fabric for us to work with, so that's what I'm hoping. Well, what do you think she thinks of the dress? She likes the dress. Uh -huh. Right, Lauren? Like that one. Do you like this one? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Four, so I don't She's know. a girly girl and she loves to dress up, so oh, well, we would okay. wear it. We would wear it anywhere. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a good dress, right, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> right here, right part, yes to the dress? Yes, to the dress. Yes right. to the dress. Lighting. How did you hear about this event? I heard about it um, on their Facebook, on Faces for Autism uh, Facebook page, and Carly participates with Field of Dreams. I would draw as the perfect dress. It's, it's not too heavy. It's not too poofy. It's not. It's not too heavy. Yes, it's, it's nice not and light, poofy. and it's pretty. pretty. And blue is actually my favorite. Oh, blue's my favorite color. <laughs> that purple, red. What is that? Light blue. White. Purple, pink. <laughs> All right, so it's like white with pink and purple. Colors better. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, colors better than color's blue. Better. Yeah, she likes the blue, the pink over the blue. Right. <laughs> so the couple of dresses that you picked out, can you describe these dresses? Yeah, you've had that one for a long time. Short, sparkly. <laughs> kind of greenish. Sparkly. Yeah, mint. Short, mint. sparkly, mint. What? Mint. Mom's the fashion mom. All right. <laughs> All right, so you Nicole, had the short, you want sparkly, to... mint for a long time. And then time. we have the long. Yeah. Someone else. Full. Yeah. Well, Blue flowered, no white background. Yes. <laughs> started doing this. Right. Awesome. Why did you pick the dresses that you picked? Why? Well, they you know, fit her personality. I fit her personality. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are they going to need any alterations? Or? Um, the blue one, the longer one, probably. The longer. What do you got to do to the blue? The hem. Now, Just thank, thank them for this wonderful opportunity for the girls. It was wonderful. What kind of dress are we trying to get today? Anything that makes her feel beautiful. <laughs> well, um, what type of a event do you think she's going to be wearing one of these dresses to? Well, she said she'd like to wear this dress to her college graduation. Okay. And she wants I'll to have a big party. She wants to have a big party. Big party. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you think that the dress, is this, you only going to get picked with one dress? Yeah. I mean, this is the winner? This is the winner. Right, right sir? Yeah. Do you think this, win, this dress is going to need any changes or alterations? Well, I think it will need to be hands, because she's uh, short. But otherwise, it's perfect. Otherwise, perfect. It, that, um, you um, tried this dress on earlier today, right? Wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It yes. might have been like the first one that you brought her out in and... Yes. Said, try to get the reaction of the yes. crowd. She she loves to uh, model. Tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's get a description of this dress. This might have been the most colorful one we've uh, shot pictures of. A colorful person. <laughs> She's a colorful person. <laughs> Sarah, how do you feel in that like dress? Beautiful. Nice it really does. Beautiful. Yeah. Do you like to wear pretty dresses? Yes, I do. And did you say you wanted to be a model someday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you going for, is this a prom dress you picked out here? Well, we have a sweetheart's ball every year. We didn't have it this year in Marwood because oh. of the COVID-19. The uh -huh. convention center's closed, but for this, this will be for next year. When do you think next year's sweetheart's ball will be held? Like if it's held in its normal usually, month? Usually we have it in April, so April. it'll probably be, you know, in April next year. If we can get it in February and Valentine's Day, we'll do that. But we have to wait for the governor right. to open up. So Natalie was just 39 in uh, last week, last Friday. Mm -hmm. So.
And why do we pick this dress? Well, why, why is this the winning dress here? Well, I think it's because of the material. It's, um, it's, it's able, she's able to, to be comfortable in it. And the color, I think, is good on her, oh, like okay. the green. Oh, we're, we're excited to get a phone call. We're talking about the about prom dresses. And we're, would we be interested? So what I did was return the phone call immediately. And from what Miriam told me at Macy's, that she was very happy that we were the first people to call because she had all of these prom dresses and we were the first people to call back. Um, having the, the wonderful option of being a nonprofit helped it considerably because they were looking for a nonprofit organization to donate all of these prom dresses and the Easter outfits too. So knowing that we are an organization that works with so many other charities, we're all about working together. So knowing that, I think she was excited about this collaboration. I really do. So after talking to her today, that was confirmed. <laughs> and when we saw that the volume of things that, that they were giving to us, we were shocked. And you could not see our mouths drop, <laughs> our jaws drop, because of the fact that we had masks on. <laughs> but it was an amazing opportunity to give back to the community. And well, we have our uh, Medical Explorer student volunteers who were there. There were, I believe, six of them who came out. Um, my sister was there, my husband, and myself, and the staff at Macy's came out to help us. They were incredible in wheeling out everything and helping us put it into the car. So I'm and the car and the wow. rental car. Oh, I'm old. Actually, I just a rental just, truck. I should say. A week ago, I turned and Happy birthday. Uh, basically, and this is no, our pop up shop <laughs> in the parking lot. And then, but we're giving it away. <laughs> and then after Friday and Saturday, um, the dresses that haven't been given away to someone. Who are the organizations that will get the remaining dresses that you have left over? Uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Atlantic City will receive the Easter outfits. Uh, Atlantic County Special Services will receive prom dresses, as well as the Ark of Atlantic County. And. <laughs> A lot of the other organizations who um, are represented, who will be receiving things, have sent people here directly. So 21 Down and Heart of Surfing, Heart of Surfing, and um, South Jersey Field of Dreams. So all of them have been notified that they were able to participate. So a lot more of them will be here tomorrow. We're really excited that a lot of the members of 21 Down participated today um, because of the fact that we all work together. We all feel that our families um, share a common bond and the fact that we work together, we share everything has been great. Our experiences, our events and our activities, we all work together.